What is going on guys today? We are looking at Rule Breaker Lazari. He is one of the cheaper options that you can go for. He is an 84 rated player from the Serie A in Lazio. He is Italian and he's got an upgrade of plus three. To be honest, I don't think many people will want to be going for him. Um, I feel like he's got a massive, massive shooting increase. But other than that, there's not really too much else to, to really say about him in, in terms of what people actually want. And I thought, I'm going to just test the waters with this and see if the rest of the rule breakers are better to be reviewed or do I move on to some golds and wait for the team of the week on Wednesday. So let me know down below if you want to see more of the rule breakers. I think we have four left. I think Acampus, Andre, Kamara, and I want to say Dumfries are left. So let me know down below if you want to see the rest of them. If not, we'll move on to some gold and icons for Monday, Tuesday, and then obviously Wednesday. We'll go back to the team of the weeks for two days, and then we're on to team 11, well, team two of the rule breakers. So let's get into the stats and see how he is. So going into Lazari then, he is a free star, free star right mid. He has had an increase of plus 21 on his shooting, very much like the Douglas Costa, just on a bit of a lower scale in terms of rating. He has had a massive increase there, taken some pace off and then added everything else, four on the physical and passing, three on the defending and dribbling. He is coming in at about 26 to 27K, pretty much on most consoles, I think 24 on PlayStation. So. He's not that expensive, and to be honest, I never thought he would be. He is the lower the lower rating of the rule breakers, and to be honest, he's kind of just a mediocre player in, in, in terms of anything, but if you can get this card on untradeable, he'll be nice for the uh, icon swaps. As a right mid, I don't think there's a huge amount. We will have a look at the end of the review. I don't think there's a huge amount of right wingers in this Serie A. Obviously, we're looking at mainly Ronaldo in there, um, and then obviously trying to link him away, but... Really, the Serie A, not as impressive as I thought this year. Lazari is obviously one of the first special cards that we're going to get in terms of promo. So hopefully, as we keep going forward, we'll get more and more. He is right-footed and he is five foot nine with a high, high work rate. So up and down a pitch, he is more of a right mid more than anything. But I did like him. I did like him pushing up a little bit more. I do like him as a right wing. He's got a nice little cross on him with being 87. And then obviously vision and short pass both being 81. He's got 87 acceleration with 83 sprint speed. 90 finishing with 99 positioning. It's not bad to be fair. For 83 shooting, I know all the other stats are lower, but... That's not a bad little finish stat right there. In terms of dribbling, we've got 88 agility, 92 balance, which is absolutely fine. We've got 84 ball control, 85 dribbling, and 80 composure and reaction. So, to be honest, he's not a, he's a mediocre player. He's not kind of top tier, but definitely he's in that above average kind of tier. He has got 91 stamina, and the, and the chemistry style we'll be looking at predominantly would be a hunter. That would give him an 88 right wing card. It'd also give him an 87 right uh, right forward and right mid, and a cheeky 87 uh, centre forward as well. 95 pace, 89 shooting. You can't really argue with that. Other than that, I think the next one is Catalyst. I personally would rather have a little bit more shooting on him, but a Catalyst would turn him into an 89 rated right wing, right mid, but you'd have only the 90 finishing and 99 attacking position, which I'll show you in the end review because everything else is 70 or just above. So let's get into some gameplay and see how we did. So the big thing with Lazari is going down the wing. Absolutely incredible at it. Really good pass and he linked up with Florenzi very well. Um, I did have the one to watch Florenzi after getting him from a gold pack. So very nice little linkage there. And it gets you a kind of link to uh, Koscielny in the league gun because obviously Florenzi has changed to PSG this year. But going down a wing consistently, he's quite quick. Even, even with the pace kind of decrease, still feels quite nice. It does manage to get around the defenders. Does have a little bit of a cross on him there, but we don't manage to get the first one. But we do get the assist of the assist. And then that's pretty much what he does. He's really good at doing that. And in terms of shooting, he's okay. But I just don't think he's going to be one of the ones that you pick to try and actually really score a lot of your goals. We see there nearly managing to get it in. It does come back out, I believe, or we try and chip it across. Again, that's his problem. It's always that last touch that always lets him down. Other than that, he's a nice card. He's relatively decent. Is this the same? No, it's not the same clip. We'll try for the volley. Again, that's where the shooting comes into it and it's where the hunter really should play a part. But when it's so low, 
it doesn't really make too much of a difference in my opinion. If you're going from trying to get a 70 to a 90, it's just not going to kind of fix the animation from him. Good assist there, and overall, he's mainly an assister. Get down the wing with him. He's good at that. Get the pass in, get the cross in. In terms of shooting, I'd probably just pass it off, to be honest. In front of goal, maybe yes on the one-on-one, -on -one. but in terms of actually being able to dribble around everybody and make the goal himself... I just don't think he has it in him, to be honest. So going into the overall for Lazari, as we can see, 26, 24, 23 on the three separate uh, markets. He's he's just a lackluster player, in my opinion. In terms of all the other rule breakers, which we'll have a look, or maybe not. That's okay, that's weird. Um, in terms of the others, where is it in here? We need teams, squads, objectives. I don't know where it is. So if we do look at the rule breakers like here, basically, we can see... In terms of player lists, we've got pretty much at the bottom. In terms of Xbox, we've got 23k for Dumfries, even 64 for Kamara, to be honest, 80 for Andre. We then have 26 for Lazari and 123 for Acampus. We've still got Harry Kane now dropping down to 1.2 mil. It's just, I, I don't know. I feel like that kind of speaks a thousand words. Dumfries, again, not really the greatest league, to be honest, in, in terms of a link ability right now. Unless you had a Virgil and a De Jong, something like that, that would work really well. But that then kind of ties you into so, so many players. Lazari has got like the advantage of being in a major league and Italian, to be honest. There's quite a few perfect links. And as you can see, we're looking at Ronaldo mainly. A mobile... A mobile is all right, but I don't see him really being in anybody's foot champs team. Gomez has got the potential to definitely go up quite a lot. We've already got one in form from him. Mertens obviously being a link player that we can get. Savage, Ericsson. There is a few decent players in there, but in terms of actually really meta players, he's just not really going to fit in too much. So if I can go back to him here, we do have obviously Nine Golan. I really enjoyed him, and that's who we linked him up with in this. Very, very nice player as Cam. And I think Lazari kind of is just mediocre at best, and that's why he's only 26k. I don't think the price is too far off. I think it's a nice price for him. You get a cheeky right mid for the Serie A. You could whack him in your untradeable team if you've got him, um, obviously, out of a pack. And to be honest, I wouldn't be too disheartened with, with him because there isn't a huge amount of right mids. In terms of generations, we've had him since FIFA 18, managing to get his first team of the season in 19 absolutely nothing in 20 so it's nice to see he's already getting a special promo as we move into FIFA 21. In terms of links I think we have quite a few in his team a mobile obviously and then a couple of other Italians. Strong links plenty of Italian icons right there we can't really argue with how many that you've got. Chiellini being one that you could go with I suppose could you? No there's no oh, well you could go free at the back to be honest. Gattuso quite a nice icon to be honest. Um, you've got Savic you've got Alberto all coming in at Lazio as well so there's a few decent links for him it's just the fact that is he going to be in your foot champs team? I probably wouldn't say so. For me, I've gone 6 out of 10. He's above average in terms of right mid, and he's got some nice links. But overall, he's just not really going to cut it for me. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe as well, that would always mean the world to me. And come back later on for another review. I'll see you next time. Peace.